G'day mates, Bob Dingo here. So, today I'm gonna show you how to shave the Dingo Stash, my trademark facial accessory. I'm gonna show you how to do it today. This is not for the timid, only the manliest blokes. Dare apply for the Dingo Stash. So you're gonna need a lot of things to get this done. You're gonna need some clippers, okay? You're gonna need a comb for the clippers, the shortest one they got in the box, okay? You're gonna need a razor. And I use one of these, it's a safety razor with frugal, but then it dingo style. So you can buy these, like the handles, like 10 bucks. And then you can get like 100 blades for like five bucks on Amazon. So I'm no longer a slave to the Gillette Corporation. Hi, I'm no longer a slave to the Gillette Corporation. Although my face will be bleeding by the end of this tutorial today, you're also going to need an electric razor too. Like I said, the dingo stash, not for the timid. You're also going to need... Okay. You're also going to need some aged boots, okay? Anything 12 years or older, you're going to need that to steady your hands for this. Because we're this is a very complicated facial accessory. You're gonna need some 12 year old booze to steady your hands, okay. I can taste the beach. Okay, I think I'm almost ready to get started on the dingo stash. Now that your hands are steady, you need to steady your mind. You can do that with a little Voltaire, okay. So we'll read a few lines from Voltaire and then we'll be ready to go for the dingo stash. Okay, where's the new, here we go. The ambitions of Louis were not restrained by the general peace. While the empire, Spain and Holland, all demobilized their special forces, Louis retained his. He made of peace a nursery of conquest, 1680. He was so sure of his power that he set up at Metz and Brissot tribunals for the purpose of uniting under his crown all lands. Okay, I think the mind, steady. The hands, steady. We'll take one more dram on the uh, 12 year old rum. Okay, now we're ready to go. So the first thing you gotta do, is you gotta shape it up. Okay, so I'm looking in the mirror this way. Um, so what I do, I start in the middle. You get to take your clippers. You go right up the middle like so. And obviously I can't talk while I'm doing this, so just uh, take it. So you gotta shape it up. And I hope I don't ruin this for my trip to Vegas tomorrow. <laughs> now the sides of the dingo stash, there's an optical illusion. They look like they go down straight, but they actually go down out at an angle. So keep that in mind as you're trimming it up. Kind of this goes like that way. Okay. All right, the dingo stash is coming together now. All right, now we're gonna shape the side. So the sideburns, you wanna go all the way down pretty far, actually. And you also want to, this is one area where you use your clippers now. It looks a lot cooler if you take your sideburns up all the way. Boom. And we can work on that later, okay. That's awful. Not doing a good job on camera. <laughs> Come on. All right, there we go. It's hard to do grooming on vid, okay. And uh, okay, now we're on for that. Let's keep shaping the dingo stash. We're gonna go down the side. The sideburn, here we go. And you wanna go pretty low on this. So you wanna go down all the way to the jawline. There we go. Oh, 
bit too low, then you want to, once you get down about there, okay, take the bottom off. And now we're really, the dingo stash is coming together now. Let's shape the top of the cheek, or the bottom of the cheek. And you want to take your time with this, you can mess this up. If you have to get a ruler, you might want to do it, okay? <laughs> Dingo stash is complicated. <laughs> Alright, coming together nicely, now let's do this side. And take the sideburn straight down, don't mirror it too much. And on the sideburn, you want to get the side a little bit. Just clean the back of that, there we go. Okay. And then kind of uh, on the jawline. There we go, it's coming together nicely. Okay, then we do the bottom. Let's go down a little farther now. There we go. You want to clean up the back side, the sideburn. There we go. Okay, we're coming along. Let's right, shape the bottom of the jawline. And then there we go, shape that. Okay, and take your time with this, don't rush it, okay? Okay, there we go. Now, let's switch over to the electric razor, really get it shaped down now. Okay, got the electric down here, here we go. If your skin's not sensitive, you can just do the straight razor all over the place, but for now, let's get that done, okay. And my face is turning red from the 12 year old scotch, okay. <laughs> That's how you know it's working, you know? Okay, now you see it's coming together now. There we go. You wanna take it right to the bottom of the lip, take that all off right there, you know? Got to get that chin nice and cleaned up. There we go on the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. And let's turn up the lights up to maximum. There we go. <laughs> Much better that way. Okay, there we go. I can see now. Now right in the corner there, you've got to get that in. Okay. And then you work on the neck. Okay, let's clean that up. There we go. Dingo stash coming together nicely. Ready for Vegas, the Sheila's. And you kind of, you take your time. You don't want to go all the way in. You want to keep it a little thick at the beginning, then kind of clean it up at the end. Because you can, the shape can get messed up. I've done that many times, okay.
Okay, now we want to thin it out just a bit more. Now we've got the shape down, basic shape. We want to get it nice and tidy. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take this down just a tad. There we go. I've never done this this far away from the mirror, so I hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> My bingo stash is going to be ruined for this trip to Vegas. Okay. Okay, let's trim that up. Nice, nice. Okay, this needs to be thinned out. I'm gonna thin that out on that side, okay. With great dingo stash comes great responsibility, okay. You gotta take your time. How long are we? We're on 11 minutes, okay. Now we go to the straight razor. This is where I'm gonna start bleeding like crazy. You ever see me in Vegas and I, my neck looks like it's all cut up? Dingo stash time. Okay, now we really shape it down. There we go. You just want to shape the bottom. You want to get it down to, the dingo stash is quite thin. You want the thickness of your lip to be the same, all the way down and all the way up. So kind of uniform, you know. Oh yeah, coming together nicely now, yeah. Almost ready for the Sheilas in Vegas. Let's do this side, okay. There we go. So now you see, you kind of sculpt it as you go along, you take your beard, you kind of take it down, you take it down a little further, you know, until you got the dingo stash. And if you go too far on this, you're ruined. You gotta go clean shaven, wait another month for your beard to grow out. Okay. You just kind of see the edges where it's not coming together, kind of clean them up, you know. And then I should open the window, it's quite hot. <laughs> Why did I not do that? Okay. Okay, we're almost there now. Dingo stash ready to go. I'm not bleeding too badly. You want to clean that up, okay. And there's one last step, okay. Before we go all the way. Now, the last thing you want to do on your dingo stash, you got to take the stash off the lip. I hate hair on the lip, it's awful. It also makes the dingo stash look more uniform. So you take your clippers again, and you just go on the bottom, trim that out. Okay, here we go. There we go, much better now, don't you reckon? And uh, we'll go back to the razor, just one more go. We basically got it, it's kind of uh... Once you get to this point, you kind of uh, just clean it up on the edges, wherever you want to go. I didn't grow it in enough, my, <laughs> my beard, so... Uh, it should be a little thicker than this. Like this side's too thick. 
Let's trim that down, okay. Okay, there we go. But basically we got it pretty close, I reckon. We'll just, uh, we've got to clean up this side. The hairline, there we go. Oh, those hairs there, okay. What do you reckon? Oh, a little more on this side. I think we basically got it, mates. We got it. Okay, now you know how to shave the dingo stash down that way. Across, up, over, down, along, up to my hair again. If you're wondering about the dingo stash, this is an evolution of a facial hairstyle that was very popular in the 1700s. So if you ever watched like a, um, a story about uh, like, um, Sherlock Holmes, all the coppers will have something on the face called side whiskers, which is kind of like this, except it's super thick on the side. It'd be like a big old mutton chop right there, right there. That's side whiskers, okay? Popular in the 1700s, but we had to update it to make it dingo style. So now you know how to shave the most advanced facial accessory, the dingo stash. All right, let's take another hit on my, there we go, come on. Focus. What's wrong with your camera? There we go, 12 years old. Now that you got your dingo stash done. All right, take another hit on your 12 year old <coughs> rum, scotch, whatever you got. Ah, I'm ready for Vegas, mates. And we'll take another read on Voltaire. Focus, Voltaire, you want? Stupid camera, okay. Voltaire, his figure even now imposing. I think they're talking about us, mate. His figure even now imposing the nobility of his features, the masterful tone and air with which he spoke. Impressed them more than did his rank, which up till that day they had, been, uh, they had but little respected. Okay, these first signs of his greatness, however, seemed to wither almost immediately. I oh, know. And the fruits only became apparent after the Cardinal's death. Since the triumphant return of Mazarin, the court was taken up with gaming, ballots and comedy. Gaming, ballots and comedy, which, but lately born in France, had not yet uh, the attained dignity of the art, and with tragedy, too many commas, <laughs> already become a sublime art in the hands of Pierre, there we go. Now you know how to shave the dingo stash. Later, mates.